G'day folks, Pete from RC Jet Boat Australia here, doing a review on the KMB 28mm pump. Got two types of um, nozzles here, the standard and the short. The pump assembly is quite simple. Have your nozzle, this pump's actually a pump that I use on a boat which I'm about to install into a, another boat. We have the standard nozzle there with a pickup that's been drilled in. Makes it a little bit easier to get the water into the cooling system for the motor and for the speedy. On the back here, we've got the stator housing and stator. and the transom plate. Transom plate goes on the outside of the hull where the end of the pump penetrates out through the hull. And the stator housing with the stator inside mounts over the top. You have your splash guard there and then your steering nozzle goes over the top there. Exact same setup for the short nozzle. Stator drops in to the little slots. It's recommended that you glue it in so that it doesn't vibrate and carry on. And short nozzle has a different splash guard, and then that just goes on to the mounting holes in the middle there. And then you have your steering control mounting holes on the top there. The pump itself, I'll pull this one apart because it's one that I've already used and it performs really well. On the bottom there you can see I've made a grill. The wire is actually just the stainless wire that you get out of a windscreen wiper and just cut it into place and just stops you picking up sticks and rocks and bits and pieces works very well on the top here you got your grease point the grease in your shaft inside here you can see the rubber coupling and that bolts straight onto the main impeller shaft I'll pop this out. It's a 4mm shaft on the impeller. Then your impeller comes out. And you do have a, a washer on the inside there. One thing I do do is inside there, you can probably see I've got a few extra washers put in there. The reason for that is because the motors that I'm using the shaft isn't quite long enough to reach the coupling as standard so I put the extra washers in to be able to pack the coupling out and then the motor shaft reaches. I've got a motor here I'll show you this is a um, prop drive 3536 1400 kV. Little outrunner motor. Works actually fantastic as you can see around the, the motor adapter plate. I've just made a, a ring of 4mm alley tube and that just basically sits on there. You can glue it on with a little bit of JV weld or something and um, it actually creates a good heat sink and takes a lot of heat out of the motor so the motor comes out only lukewarm the pumps come standard with the long threaded bolts here for the motor but the uh, adapter plate is an extra but as you can see when that bolts up 
you get just enough grab to be able to lock that down and you got your motor spinning beautifully lock the other side in there's your impeller spinning these little motors are fantastic they um, run for anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes, 25 minutes on a 2200 three cell battery uh, you know the more you give it to it the quicker it will run out but just messing around on the rapids or over jumps and stuff they last you get a good run time out of them I'll just pull this off got a, a hull here that I've already cut out ready to go for the pump there's a little bit of fiddling around to mount these in but once you get it it's quite easy you have your transom plate goes on the back screws onto the holes sits in nice and neat as you can see on these holes the transom plate fits all the way up under the gunnel and then you have a nice finish underneath when that's glued up for your intake Then you have the stator housing bolt straight onto the transom through the transom plate and to the transom. You can glue it from the inside. Then the steering nozzle goes on the on the back there. have um, my young fella's boat here which is set up and quite bashed around as you can see he likes jumping and carrying on and smashing up on the rocks but he has a lot of fun you can see the, the steering kit inside there the steering kits the KMB steering kit works quite well you can see the mechanism moving we've got the rate set down on this it is very twitchy likes to spin out and the motor runs beautiful There it is, K and B pumps. Have these available. Now they're in Australia. You can buy direct. Don't have to get them from overseas. Have a full range of spare parts, impellers, couplings, washers, you name it. You can post anywhere in Australia. And um, these fiberglass hulls are also available. And there's uh, three other types as well, which I'll do a review on them once um, we get a bit more time. Thanks for watching.